So, a few weeks back, FEFCA, the Film Employees Federation of Kerala, uploaded two videos on their YouTube channel on the topic, Say No to Dowry. And at first I was like, well, this is a great initiative. But then I saw the video. So, in the first video, we see a girl who hears some noises from the neighboring house, which appears to be the noise of a husband abusing his wife. And then this girl calls that husband, that male, and then tells Venda Panigato, which translates to stop doing what you're doing, otherwise you'll face severe legal action. And then this mass background music plays, and then we see Manju Varya, a famous actress, who goes on to say that, you know, violence against women is a punishable offense. The video is about violence against women, but it is titled as Say No to Dowry, which doesn't make sense, but that is a very minor problem to the bigger problem that I'll be discussing. And if you still haven't figured out that problem yet, let's watch the next video too. Things will be much clearer, much clearer then. Sorry. So, in the second video, the setup is a Pennanganal Chadanga which in English means bride seeing ceremony, I guess. It's basically the boy comes to the girl's house in order to see the girl and decide whether to marry her or not. Mm, why doesn't it happen the other way around? I don't know. Ask my ancestors. And I really don't know why did they choose such a patriarchal setup in order to convey a modern and positive message. But anyway, let's just continue with the video. And now, the boy's family asks the girl's family for dowry. And then the girl responds to it by saying the same thing that was said in the earlier video. Panigitto. And then we see Prithiraj who goes on to say, accepting and providing dowry is a punishable offense. I hope you can see the pattern in these videos. A man does something misogynistic and wrong and then a girl comes and tells him stop doing it or else you will be punished. From this, what is the message that the audience receives? Oh, I shouldn't abuse women or ask for dowry. Why? Not because I think women should be treated equally or because I think that what I'm doing is misogynistic. No, 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 no. I just don't want to end up in jail. That is doing the right things for the wrong reasons. The makers of this video did have good intentions, but the way it is presented just produces the counter effect. Now you might think, why does the reason matter if the action is good? You know, men won't harm women at least due to the fear of consequences. But the reason does matter and why it matters is beautifully portrayed in this first episode of the recently released recently released web series named Average Umbly. Here is the setup. We again have a bride seeing ceremony and then the boy and girl are having a chat. And then the boy says this. You know that our generation is very progressive, right? Hence, you have my permission to work even after marriage. Let's just consider that situation for a moment. This boy is doing something good and progressive indeed. But why is he doing it? From the way he frames his sentence, it is clear that he's not doing it because he's a feminist or something. He just does it because that is what everyone else in his generation is doing. If he was a feminist, he wouldn't have said that you have my permission to work because he knows that she doesn't need his permission in order to decide whether to work or not. He knows that her decision to work should not be considered as the husband's generosity towards her, but it should be considered as her truly deserving right. I hope you realize how much the reason matters as much as the action. And so here is the takeaway. Spread positivity for the right reasons. Peace.